someone managed to take out the fence. I'm stopped on the side of the road, halfway towards the granary. The tire on the grain trailer has burst. It is the morning of the 31st of July. We're just off with our second trailer load. Morning, Bradley. Morning. Someone managed to take out the fence while taking a trailer load down here. Bit embarrassing. All good? Yeah, pit four. Pit four. So we just tipped a nine and a half ton load. The moisture was about 13 and a half, which is very good. Disconnect the hydraulics from a tractor loader, allowing us to move it. So this is one of the latest models. It's actually a wireless loader. Don't need it to be connected to the tractor at all. stopped on the side of the road halfway towards the granary the tire on the grain trailer has burst i'm hoping that in the time it took me to stop it's only the tire that's damaged so i was driving down the road it must have been about 25 miles an hour it was downhill and suddenly there's this massive pop so i'm like what what on earth is that i mean it's pretty difficult to stop almost 20 tons of uh, tractor and trailer and grain so after maybe 50 meters came to a stop tires just wrapped around the wheel i happened to be recording a time lapse at the time you can see a couple of frames showing the expression on my face I'm afraid I'm going to be holding up quite a bit of traffic. Yeah, lots of lorries and things coming past. But all I can do is wait for our man Danny B. Shaw to come and repair the tyre as quickly as possible. I think there's a tractor coming and it might just be Bradley with the other Massey and the uh, grain trailer. Oh, in fact it is and he's pulled up in the lay-by down there.
dad showing off in the Land Rover. Got the flashing beacon and the uh, cones out behind the trailer. Bradley's taking the other tractor home. While we wait here for the tire to be repaired. Someone just told us off for parking here. I mean, it's not double yellow lines. Tires now off the ground. I reckon he might have done that once or twice. So that was uh, fixed. It took about an hour and a half from when it broke. About to go now, gonna drop it off at the granary. Dad's gonna follow in the Land Rover. We'll leave it there overnight because it's shut now. Many thanks to Danny B. Shaw for sorting us out on this one. Drama has been resolved. This trailer has a bit of a history of tire problems. 25 years or so ago, it was driven across a field. There was a set of harrows that had been left on the headlands. The linkage was low enough to flip these harrows upside down so the pointy bits were sticking up in the air and we burst the tyres at the back. That was when it was new. Quite a few times since then we've had tyre problems with it. It's otherwise been a very good trailer. Just finishing off in uh, Southfield. Half a load more in the blue trailer. The yellow trailer's full and the orange one's at the granary. There's a very worryingly dark cloud over there. There's a little mouse on our grain trailer. <laughs> and it's just starting to rain. Come on, little one. <laughs>